<clears throat> to whom it may concern. No, <laughs> to you whom it absolutely concerns. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. May peace be upon you. <laughs> Cause Lord knows I already found my peace. <laughs> I should have seen this one coming. This ghosting. This ghosting out of that five o'clock Algerian shadow. You know, one might say that you really did know how to put the shade in shadow. <laughs> Just as much as I put the hoe in ghosting. His name is Damon and he's dating all around. Dating around. With this romantic not stopping till love's found. He's living in the city of love. So hang tight to see where this goes. Um, I know I'm not the only one who likes that theme song. I saw in the comments. I was reading all the comments from the last, the first episode, the last episode. And you guys like the song too. I had originally filmed three of my worst dates in the same video, then I realized, no. <laughs> Cause we can't just limit this to three. I've had many more than just three bad dates in Europe. So in this video, you'll notice that I'm wearing the same tight white t-shirt, wrinkly t-shirt, um, as the first episode, but guess what? <laughs> the story was funny, so I kept it. And that's why I'm wearing a different one. It's a different day. This story will be accompanied by an article that I wrote in real time. Um, I remember literally writing this when I was being ghosted in my phone's notes to be posted on our website, shutupago.travel. Y'all, this was a, a blog. It used to be a blog that just Joe and I wrote. And now we have global contributors who write stories about everything because we can't be in every place. I can't be everywhere. I can't be dating everybody at the same time. Although I try. <laughs> I gotta stop doing this. <laughs> I don't wanna be a player no more. I'm not a player, I just crush a lot. One cup of coffee. I'm gonna grab my laptop now, and I'm going to read the title of this article. Getting Ghosted in Prague, a recount. <laughs> I like forgot that I knew how to write, but then I heard the theme song of this episode. <laughs> so throughout this video, I'll be intersplicing the old clips um, with the new clips. Let's go. So I was in Prague on a solo trip um, for a few days and I go to the clubs there. And Czech Republic, Czechia, Czechoslovakia, whatever you want to call it. Well, it's it's actually Czech Republic and now they're trying to market the name Czechia for it to be more like these one or two syllable countries like France, Italy, Spain. Czech, Czech, this is not the point. So I have another video explaining all that. <laughs> because Czech Republic was once a part of the Iron Curtain under the Soviet Union's control, I still think that there's a lot of homophobia over there, um, or aggression at least, uh, just like not satisfaction, we can say that for the most part. Saturday night, I order an Uber and I'm going to one of the local gay clubs. Termix, ter Termins, I mean it's, you take what you can get, okay? And that's what, what the situation was over there. So I guess I'll appreciate it for that. And I got in the Uber and for the first time in my life, my Uber driver had something to say about where I was going. Ah, Termix, gay bar. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh. And so there I was in the backseat like, <laughs> change address, change address. No, I, I, no, I kept the address and I showed up and I was like, sir, is this Termix the gay bar? I shouldn't have been provoking him when I was in his car. Stop the story! Okay, let me read you this little part. Being in Ubers around the world is a cultural experiment in itself. The Uber driver, who noticed I was going to Termix, a gay club, was a little taken aback, nearly scoffing. Prague is said to be the <clears throat> gay porn capital of, of Europe, like who comes up with these superlatives, but despite that, gay culture's not something that feels accepted. It's like if you're not in a friendly alternative vegan cafe, you're better off not mentioning that you're gay. Almost like a don't ask, don't tell. Um, unless it's dark enough in the steam room policy. <laughs> I knew not to take it too personally, and instead I told him to turn up the volume to Sean Paul. Just, Just give me the light. light. My night was not over. A sorry dude. So I got out and I go to the club, and it's a fun night, and I was there alone actually. I mean, I was solo traveling, and I wasn't about to sit in my room alone. So I went out to the club, I had a few drinks, and then I got on the dance floor, and there were like three cuties. One, two, three. Damn! Like, God, they are so beautiful over here. I remember talking to, well, first off, the language barrier was very, I mean, I've been to many countries and that was one of the countries where the English was not the best, which is like rule number one for Damon D. <laughs> 
I love someone who like barely speaks English and that challenges me to learn their language and then also I think it's really cool to both be like really trying like you're both trying to just want to communicate because there is an unspoken attraction I think it's really cool so I really liked it there were many guys there that didn't speak English and I was trying it was like Portuguese Spanish French English German I even speak a little bit of Russian. Wait, okay, I'll take your pick, at least one of them. Even Italian I could probably get by. So this particular guy, he wasn't feeling it, but I was like, okay, no worries. Option two. <laughs> As I was walking out, I locked eyes with exactly my type. What is it? What is it? Typically, it's uh, like an Arabic speaker. <laughs> Um, from North Africa or the Middle East. It's just, ooh, it's, it's beautiful, right? It's like the color of the skin, beautiful. Five o'clock shadow, like a little scruff. They typically have like a strong face, which I love. They are like built genetically, like it's just there. They didn't even really have to try. Brown eyes, thick eyebrows, good lips. And so this guy was from Algeria. And oftentimes, if you're from North Africa, you speak not only Arabic, but also your second language is French. And like, come on, where are we at? <sighs> this guy's name was David. And so we hit it off. Like for probably an hour, I stayed for another hour and we were just chatting in French. He was there also on a trip and he was staying with this friend. And then he's like, oh, you wanna get out of here? Let's go to the park. Do you wanna go uh, watch the sun rise in the park? And I'm like, yes, I do wanna have our wedding at sunrise. <laughs> So we go to the park and we lay down and we're there. He sits up. And so I sit up and he's like, I just got this text. Um, my roommate's locked out and I need to go. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Wait, this is happening to me? Wait. Oh, I thought I was, I thought I was smooth. Like I'm only crazy in videos, you guys. But if I'm on a date, like I can be sexy. <laughs> I was getting the movie treatment. Sorry, um, my roommate is locked out. I'm like, aren't, didn't you say you were on vacation here? Aren't you visiting a friend? He's like, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Um, I'm staying with a friend and he got locked out. Um, so I, I, he's gonna come pick me up and uh, then we're gonna go and I'm gonna try my key. But, but you stay here. You stay here, I'll be back in 45 minutes. And I was like, now I'm confused. Cause it sounds like you're ghosting me in a very movie way, which is kind of fun. But now you're telling me to stay. Okay. He gives me his number and I stay. 15 minutes go by. I'm laying there watching the sunrise. 20 minutes, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, an hour, an hour and a half. And finally I call my friends cause I was in Czech Republic and they're back in the States. And I'm like, all right, listen here. What do I do? Do I leave this guy? I has been texting him. First I called his phone paying 20 cents per minute from my American plan. <laughs> when he didn't pick up, I called his WhatsApp number using an enormous amount of data that I'm also paying for. <laughs> when he didn't answer, I texted him, paid for that too, and said in my thankfully fluent French, I said it in French to make sure he understood. Dis-moi si tu vas revenir, bah sinon y a pas de problème, mais je veux pas gâcher mon temps quoi. <sighs> to this day, I've never heard from David. I don't know what happened. <gasps> What if something, okay, my mind's not gonna go there. Like what if something bad happened? And I don't know. Okay, imagining something bad didn't happen. You let somebody know, like my feelings won't be hurt. I just don't wanna waste my time, dude. Like I'll go sleep. Um, or I'll go back to that one guy in the club. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here's a picture of me looking so damn tan and healthy. Wow, after a night like that. Um, okay, and as I'm telling the story, I can't help but be like, maybe the reason he wanted to ghost me was because in the club I looked good, but then when I left the club, like, I didn't look so good, and like, he was like, whoa! But then I look at that photo and I'm like, I only put three filters on, I look good! <laughs> I look good in this picture. I would take me home. To this day, I never got a text back and I never saw him again. After one sunrise and one FaceTime with a friend back in Los Angeles, who actually reminded me to film this video, I walked home and realized I've never related more to a sizzle lyric. <laughs> Why you bother me when you know you don't want me? <laughs> Adventures of an American abroad, confused more and more each day. These hoes ain't loyal. I can't wait till I'm like 
65 and I can just look back at all these videos and all these stories and be like, holy crap, I really live. Please leave a comment below if you have any information about David. Where is David? Is David okay? I liked David. I just want to make sure he's good. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next Dating with Damon. I'll see you in the next video. Like, I did a poll on my Instagram, which video I should post this week, how I found my Parisian apartment, or Dating with Damon, how I got ghosted in Prague. <laughs> and after thousands and thousands of votes, how was it 50-50? Like, at least 51-49, or like 52, it was literally 50-50. So that's why I might be posting another video real soon. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. His name is Damon. He's dating around.